if you do want to use an editor that is specifically designed uh, for use with LaTeX, there is one I can mention known as TechWorks. Again, it comes as part of the uh, TechLife distribution. And one of its advantages is not only it has built in uh, LaTeX syntax highlighting, lots of other editors, Emacs, Sublime, Visual Studio Code, whatever um, you prefer, has that. Um, it also has a big button that you can press and it will automatically call PDF, LaTeX or uh, similar tools in order to typeset the document that you're working on. And then it automatically opens a second window where you can see the PDF output. That is all not quite that exciting yet, but what really is uh, interesting about TechWorks is that it also uses an extension of LaTeX called SyncTech, where LaTeX produces another file that records which character in the input text corresponds to which area on the formatted page. And that then allows you to click in this document uh, on any particular place. And you get here a context menu, jump to source. And if I uh, right click here with jump to source, for example, on the word um, until, then it will immediately uh, jump uh, to the um, corresponding word in the source code and vice versa. This works in both directions. Um, there are now also similar editors available that have been implemented in JavaScript and therefore they run inside uh, web browsers and these are combined with some cloud-based storage infrastructure. There's a number of offerings uh, on various websites, overleaf.com, Papyria, LaTeX Base. Um, and uh, these are particularly attractive if you're collaborating with uh, multiple authors because um, like many other of these online editors, Google Docs, for example, several authors can go simultaneously through the source code with multiple cursors and everyone can immediately see uh, what, the, uh, what their collaborators have been doing. So in particular, things like uh, final proofreading of papers with a lot of authors. This is done quite uh, commonly today on uh, sites like overleaf.com. Disadvantages of using such sites, they sometimes become unavailable, has happened to one of our papers a couple of hours before the submission deadline, suddenly overleaf.com went down. So it's always good if you are a last minute person to have a backup solution to be able to do it locally on your own computer. Also, sometimes for complicated scientific documents, LaTeX is only one component in the entire build process. In many of my papers, there are elaborate make files and other tools they call uh, Python script, MATLAB script, Julia scripts and the like that produce diagrams and uh, sometimes you also want to edit these while you work on the document and uh, that larger build environment uh, will not run so easily on one of these LaTeX only websites. So uh, for that reason, it's usually better to use a quite similar tool like TechWorks locally where you have access to all these other tools.